All right. Is there a problem? No. Good. Let's keep it that way. And if that changes, what do we do? Tell a teacher. Immediately. Right, come on, let's go. Tell you what, we don't have to get through this fast. We? Oui. Yeah. Well, maybe you need to stop having double portions then, don't you? You like that honey monster. Tell him about the honey, <laughs> Mummy. Get off. <laughs> I don't know about the price of groceries and a cost of living crisis, mate. I'm not going to school anymore. Okay. And you can't make me. Right, right. No one's going to make you do anything. But there at least needs to be a conversation. I said I'm not going. Mate, you can't just not go to school and not expect us to ask why. We just want to understand, Liam. Well, there's nothing to understand. Right, okay. If that's the truth, and I don't think it is, we still might be able to help you. You can't help me. No one can. Just leave no, me no, alone. No, 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 no. Not until we have the Gary. Show. Did something happen yesterday? No. I don't believe you. Hey. Gary, just hey, leave I'm him. Hey, I'm talking to you. Leave him, please. Please. Well, what about school? We'll speak to school. But I think we need to dig deeper. Why do we? We know this is on Dylan and Mason. Yeah, but it's not about what we know, is it? It's about what we can prove. All right, so let's get proof then. Because one way or another, I'm sorting this out today. You actually wrote this? Every word and syllable. Violets are blue, roses are thorny. Be my valentine, cos I is horny. Ew. Proper poetry, that. Oof. Don't quit your day job. It is surprisingly creative for you, that. I'm like a sexy Shakespeare. If you say so. To pee or not to pee, that is the question. Just stop. Yeah, OK. Well, at least I made an effort. True. What about Mum? What, not even a card? Seriously? It is her busiest time of the year. And talking of grafting, you're supposed to be helping, ain't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just remind her that Tommy's going to be dropping his kit off later. Well do. You know, she can't just take you for granted. She has to do stuff for you as well. <laughs> she loves me, really. You're too soft sometimes. Don't do this! I'm not sitting on my hands anymore. Well, kicking up at Sean ain't gonna fix anything. He needs to know the truth about this kid of his, babe. Right, and you think that by punching his lights out, you're gonna somehow enlighten him? No, I'm just gonna ask him a few questions, that's all. And what about when you don't like his answers? Gary, I've seen this look in your eyes before and it only makes a bad situation worse. I'm just trying to protect Liam. I know. And I can't. Don't you think I feel exactly the same? So, so we just do nothing, do we? No, I didn't say that. Then what's the next move? We speak to Mrs Corshaw. <laughs> what, and just give her an excuse to suspend him again? Well, this is a different situation. She's got it in for him. I agree, right? It's frustrating, but there's a process and we nah, need to follow nah, it. No, nah. the process is a joke. Well, that's as maybe, but unfortunately, that's all there is. No, it's not all there is. I could have a word with Dylan. No, absolutely not. I can make it all go away. What, by threatening a minor? Look, Gary, I know that you're angry and upset, OK? But we're doing this my way. I mean it. Let it go. Oh, Tad, don't mind if I do. Oh, oh so, last night our turkey made me this slap-up tea, cos it's dead romantic like that. Oh, aye, aye. What did you do for him? Managed to finish it without gagging. He's a terrible <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? Well, Tim and I are not really into all this Valentine thingy. I mean, it's all so commercial. Mm. Also, I mean, why do we need to be told by some multinational gift card company when and how to express our love for each other? Mm. All right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Saying that, though, if there hadn't been a lovely bunch of flowers waiting for me when I got home, I would have divorced him. Ah, uh, uh, morning. morning. So you found the chocolates? Thank you so much, yeah. I meant to give them to you yesterday, sorry. Sorry, you were otherwise occupied, weren't you? How is the frostbite? <laughs> yeah, cheers for not busting me. Oh, as if it was genius. You turned the thermostat down so you could have a snuggle. So you and Lauren, eh? What about me and Lauren? I know, it seems to be progressing, does it? Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. What if I do? And tell me, does she like you in the same way? Maybe. 
Hope so. Why do you ask? Because. I mean, honestly, I'm allowed to be a bit worried about you, aren't I? Listen, you can tell me to keep my beak out, but that one, she does kind of come with some heavyweight baggage, you know? I've got it all under control. Besides, stronger than I look. Mm, yeah. You're also got it bad, haven't you? So be careful. After I'd explained, Benno accepted my apology. So that's the end of it, then? Mm. Looks like it. I mean, he says he doesn't want to take it any further, so... Well, at least it's one less thing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Right, I better be going. I'll see you both later. Right. See you. See you, sweetheart. I still can't believe the way that I acted. Mm. Come on, stop beating yourself up. No, I ruined your day. It was our day. And plenty went right. I still want to make it up to you. It won't be necessary. Oh, no. oh. I... I've got an idea. Mm, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell me all about it afterwards. Afterwards? Mm-hmm. Summer and I have sorted you a last-minute physio appointment at the medical centre. Oh, no, no, my back's not that bad. Oh, spare the mar act. Come on, chop, chop. I said you'd be there by 12. I don't deserve you. Yeah, probably not. But you're stuck with me anyway. He refused to come in. Point blank, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't want to force him. It's difficult, I know. And sadly, it's not that uncommon these days. If that makes you feel any better. It doesn't. Also, given his recent behaviour, it's not particularly surprising. And what's that supposed to mean? Gary. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what you're implying. I'm not implying anything other than to say Liam has clearly been having issues with certain other pupils. Yeah, because he's being bullied. Yeah, by Dylan Wilson and Mason Radcliffe. And still nothing is being done about it. That's not true. Liam has now been allocated a pastoral care officer. And yet, yeah, here we are again, getting absolutely nowhere. <sighs> Come on, let's just go. Oh, wait. Please. Please, sit. Come on. Look, has Liam confirmed any of this? Not in so many words, no. because no. he's scared. I understand that. However, unless he corroborates your accusations, the options open to me and the school are very limited. I am sorry. Really, I am. I realised that my drinking was, you know, becoming a problem. And considering my genes, you know, I can't exactly let that happen. Well, just by admitting that, you're taking a really big step. Absolutely. You know, I want to be proactive. OK, well, if you need any literature or pointers, you know, I'm here. Mm, thanks. And I also want to say that I'm sorry to you all. I know it was a nightmare. Well, that's all in the past. Let's look to the future, eh? Yeah. I just hope in time that you can forgive me. Yeah, like Leanne said, you know, it's in the past. Onwards and upwards. Mm. And I am going to do better. I promise that. Well, I don't doubt that for a second. Right, well, I'm going to let you do some work. <laughs> See ya. Hey, hold up. Hold up. I'm going to be in tomorrow. I wasn't going to say that. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Mum. Come here. Right. See you all. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Well, that took guts. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Right, I'll leave you to it. Good to see him take responsibility. Yeah. Let's hope it's for real. Hey, come on. Let's have a little bit of optimism, eh? <laughs> yeah, I, I better crack on. Say, so you don't need to apologize. No, I have to. I know it was probably hard to fire me, but I didn't really give you much choice. I've got to own this. OK, well, then I accept your apology. And I'm, I'm really glad that you're getting ahead of your... Potential drinking problem, you can say it. <sighs> what? I just wish your dad was here. He'd be so impressed with you. I know I am. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Uh, 
sorry to interrupt, but you need to be on the floor. Oh, okay. Duty calls. Snapping your hands. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was encouraging you to go on the lash. Well, I didn't need much encouraging, did I? I'm sorry, anyway. Listen, mate, you weren't to know. Anyway, enough about my life drama. What's the latest? Latest? Yeah, with you and Lauren. Managed to get lift off yet? You could say that. She came round last night. Player. We had a cuddle and a chat. Nothing else. It was immense. <laughs> I can tell it's written all over your face. Plus, it's the first Valentine's Day I've spent with a girl, so double win. Right, well, I'm happy for you, bud. I just wish I'd bought her flowers or something. Well, then go get her some. Yeah, come on, you're still on your lunch, aren't you? All on your lonesome? Yes. You? Yep. What, uh, on Valentine's night? Guilty as charged. Oh, that is deeply depressing. Hey, come on, it's all right. It's not that big a deal. I meant depressing for me. If you can't snag a date, what chance is there for yours truly? Hey. You're such a negative Nelly. So Valentine's has gone. There's plenty more eligible blokes out there. Oh, you mean like you? <laughs> oh, hey. Behave. You're well out, Millie. Oh. <laughs> I must admit, though, I reckon I had a shout with that Toya. I know, that was surprising. She did seem very keen. Mm, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Talk about a total U-turn. Mm. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Well, Romeo here would like to buy some flowers. Well, you've come to the right place. Price range? Around a tenner, but I'm a day late. Or you march to the beat of your own drum. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can find something lovely for your significant other. Well, she's not my other just yet, but she is pretty and significant. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely sentiment. We could write that on the card. Do you know what? You are actually so smooth, it cracks me up. <laughs> oh, love is still in the air. Hmm. For some, maybe. And something to drink with that. So, two for six thirty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, if you've got any, could you bung like a red rose on a table? You do know that Valentine's was last night? Yeah, but you've got an offer on two for one on mains. And a cash saving always trumps Cupid's arrow, so. Uh, and say romance is dead. Hey, speaking of romance, I was thinking earlier, it must be weird for you and Nick. Weird? Yeah, like how you'll never get Valentine's night together. Oh, well, in this game, it comes with territory, doesn't it? You mean every night's Valentine's night, don't you? Well, yeah, that as well, obviously. Obviously. I'll see you. Yeah, see ya. Bottle of the Rising for table eight. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, you all right? Do you think Nick realises how much I love him? Whoa, where's this come from? Um, it's just... I know I've dropped the ball, you know, my head's been so wrapped up in Sai. Look, trust me, okay, love is not an issue between you guys. Hmm. You seem pretty sure about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what do you know that I don't? I can't say. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that, just tell me. Okay, okay, fine, but look, this, this stays between you, me and the, the gatepost, yeah? Promise. Right. Nick was planning on proposing to you last night. No way. I mean, obviously, the opportunity didn't present itself, but, you know, the thought was there. So, seriously, you have got nothing to worry about. <sighs> Hello, love. You on your own? Uh, yeah. Shall we join you? Yeah, sure. There you go. Hello, love. Just give us a shout when you're ready. Yeah. Look like you're miles away. If only. <laughs> so what happened? Um, Liam refused to go into school today. Why? Because he's being bullied. And you reckon that Dylan's involved? Sean won't shut up about it. Yeah, we do. Him and another lad called Mason. Oh. Nasty piece of work, that one. Yeah. Trouble is, Liam won't say anything, so... It's hard because we need evidence to show the school. He tried his socials. <sighs> yeah, I've had a little look at his friends connect, but there's nothing useful on there. Yeah. Is he on that send pics? Bet he is. If you're looking for answers, you'll find him there. What? Well, I'm down with the kids. Thanks, Ellen. Look, I hope you're wrong, love. I'm not. <clears throat> See you. Till I love. Afternoon. What can I get you? 
But Lauren. Got a visitor. Oh, hey you. Hiya. Oh, here's a lucky girl. Um, I reckon they're for you. Really? Valentine's Day was yesterday. Why should a guy need an excuse to buy a beautiful woman flowers? Oh, word to the wise, he's a keeper. So I was wondering. Hi. Does a Lauren Bolton work here? Um, yeah, that's me. These are for you. Wow, now they are gorgeous. Hey, I reckon you've got a bit of composition. <clears throat> Sorry, Bobby. Um, you were saying? Bobby! I think we're ready to order, thanks, love. How's your back? Hey, yeah, still a bit sore, but it's way better. Amazing. Um, um if you, uh, you got a minute? Yeah, of course. Serious. Well, come on then, don't leave me in suspense. Um, we've been thinking, and, um, we would like you to reconsider your US semester offer. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. You know, can't deny that it won't have an impact, but we'll be getting a new PA soon and we'll muddle through it. And it's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And there'll be other amazing opportunities in the future, but in the present, I need to be here. Summer, just... I don't want you to go either. Well, then. No, uh, let me finish. But maybe that's just me being selfish. I just want to spend as much time with you as I can. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. Then why are we still discussing this? Because... Oh, I've never wanted to hold you back. And I don't want to start now. But this is different. Not for me. Look, please, just promise you'll think about it some more. That's all we ask. Hi, Liam is on the money. He does have a Sempix account. It says it's private. Yeah. What are we doing for food tonight? Uh, anything you like. Pizza? Yeah. Pizza it is, then. Cool. What are you thinking? I'm gonna set up an account so I can friend Liam. <laughs> what? Well, 14-year-old boys don't want to be friends with their mum, do they? No matter how cool they are. Well, it's worth a try. Well, he's gonna blank you. And he'll realise that you're snooping around. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you're right. But well, we can get our heads together once I'm back from the shop. Okay? Yeah. So! Funny how Toya pied me off. Well, if you ask me, you dodged a bullet there. Don't believe me, ask her ex Imran. Oh, wait, you can't. I heard all about that. What, and you still went sniffing about? Rather you than me. You warned her off. What? Don't play the innocent Tracy. It's not in your wheelhouse. You're delusional. You had no right to interfere. Nothing's going to ever happen between us again. You really think you're something, don't you? I mean it. What do you think that I'm pining for you? All those years of heading a football have scrambled your brain, Tommy. You and me, we're done. Fine. Can I have it in writing? And you shouldn't have taken this job. Well, feel free to leave whenever you want. What's going on? Hi again. Nice flowers. So are yours. Cheaper, though. It doesn't matter to me. Did you ex buy them? Be honest. Why does it matter? So we're going to ask you out. What? Can't do complicated. You don't know what you're talking about. 
I can answer that. But, Bobby, I... Last night was incredible, by the way. Take care. Excuse me. Bobby, I... I told you to leave me alone. Got his favourite ice cream. Oh, good. Come here, come and look at this. Look at what? Just come here. Look, I've made a fake profile. Just sent Liam a friend request. What, are you pretending to be a 15-year-old girl called Cleo? Well, I don't like it either, Gary, but this is the only way we're going to get access into it. I could just talk to him again. Yeah, I mean, just shut us down again. This isn't right. Well, my son getting bullied isn't right. And we need proof, don't yeah, we? Yeah, but even so. Yeah, he's following me. We're in. This is a bad idea. Well, have you got a better one? Oh, didn't think so. Look, you don't have to be here if you don't want. Well, like you say, we need proof, don't we? Oh, no. So our school wouldn't touch. It's not about that. Then what? Have you been crying? Sit down. We've um we've seen you send pics account, Liam. I've read the comments. I'm sorry, mate. I need you to tell me the real names now of Top Boy and the others. How? Well, just tell me and then we'll tell Mrs. Crawshaw. No. How did you hack into my son Pick's account? You don't have my password. We, we didn't hack into it. I, um... I needed you to follow me. You're Cleo. This is unreal. I'm sorry, I didn't have any other option. So you thought you'd catfish me? Like I don't have enough to deal with? Liam, don't! Please, Liam, wait! You're going off on one over the paint. Uh, yeah, it's the wrong colour. It's what we agreed before your mum started meddling. Well, possibly. I've made a mistake. It's not a mistake if you do it on purpose. I'm sure Amy's getting really bored of this. Oh, no, don't mind me. I'm really enjoying this. Didn't realise that you could be so... Controlling? Well, I was going to say OCD, but close enough. He's got you sussed. He's also finished for the day. Pick this up tomorrow. Go on it. How'd you put up with her? Practice. I think you've upset him. He'll get over it. Hello, Preston's Petals. Happy day after Valentine's Day day. Thanks. <sighs> we did the right thing. I think so. We didn't push her too hard. No. No, we just gave her the option. It's someone's decision at the end of the day. I won't lie. I'll be gutted if she goes. But we'll cope. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Of course we will. You and me, we eat challenges for breakfast. You'll have more to deal with. Yeah, well, I'll have you to support me. Well, whatever someone decides, we'll keep going. To the end. Hey, how's your back doing? It's fair to middling. Why'd you ask? Well, don't know if you noticed, but we do have the place to ourselves. 
through. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do need to make up to me after yesterday. Mm -hmm. Also true. Well then, what are you waiting for, handsome? Flowers and chocolate. <laughs> well, Carla's let us out early, so I'm going to the shops. I'm not giving Kirgi a foot rub. His toes are like chipolatas. Trust me, it will rock his world. Mm, the level of appreciation will be very surprising. No, Tim, you can get your own beers. See you later. Uh, honestly, you won't regret it. Yeah, well, maybe he does deserve a treat. I mean, the meal yesterday he cooked might have been diabolical, but as for the afters, well, what can I say? That man. Oh, la 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 la. Go, pickling. Oh, him horror. Afternoon. Charming. Look, I know that Liam and Dylan have had their differences, but. I won't really call bullying differences, would you? Well, you see, I'm trying not to use that word, actually, because I believe that the boys can move on from what Liam's done. You're joking, right? What, you think that Dylan's the victim in all this? Well, I know what was witnessed. Well, do you know what I just witnessed on Liam's Send PX account? Homophobic posts. Stuff that I can't even get my head around. What? And are you suggesting that Dylan's involved? Him and a load of other cowards, yeah. And I'm not suggesting anything. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, but I know that my son would never hold such views. And also, you don't get to call him a coward. Well, you post with a fake name. You're a coward, didn't you? So therefore, you don't even know who's responsible yet. But now we've got proof that something's going on, the school's going to have to do something. You stay away from Liam. This is your only warning. Look, I'm sorry about that. What was all that about school? Well, apparently, Liam's being bullied online, so Gary's on the warpath. I'll tell you about it when we get indoors. Cool, I'm just going to nip to the shop. I need to go and get a drink. Right, well, don't be long. Oh. Darling, I know right now you're probably feeling like you're completely trapped and you might even be feeling like there's no hope. Believe me, that is not true, OK? I've tried to, I don't know. Yeah. Basically then, this morning it felt like I hit a brick wall or something. You know, a while back when I was getting trolled, it, that completely wore me down. I barely even recognised myself. How did you get through it? Love and help. And I think, probably most importantly, I eventually realised that now isn't forever. I just want it to go away. Yeah, I know. I know you do. And that is why we've got to tell Mrs Crawshaw everything. I'm scared. Yeah, of course you are. Look, look, you've got me and Gary right here beside you. Yeah, always. Yeah. Always. Oh, hiya. Oh, what are you reading? Well, only the biggest wake-up call of my life. Have you eaten? I could always make something before I go back to work. Mum, seriously, I'm fine. For once, stop worrying about me. <laughs> well, that's impossible. <laughs> well, then worry about yourself at the same time. I'm not with you. I know things haven't been great between you and Nick because of me. Oh, it's just a blip. Okay, maybe I've been neglecting him a bit, but well, with your dad out of the picture, you had to be my number one priority. And now I'm getting help. I don't want to be the reason for you two breaking up, not on top of everything else. Well, that won't happen. I love him. Well, as long as he knows that as well. Yeah, 20 minutes is fine, thanks. What are you wearing for your hot date? You want to be careful. You fella will want his expensive flowers back. Right, what is your problem? Chill. Yeah, don't tell me to chill. 
Not that it's any of your business, but I don't have a date tonight. I thought... No, you were shamed. Never do that. I'm sorry. Whatever. No, I was out of order. Friends were rocking off me. Forget it. And FYI, you've got nothing to be jealous about. Who says I were jealous? OK, maybe a bit. What are you getting? Tea for one. No, I meant what dishes. Oh, uh, I don't know. The chicken aleem's top notch. I'm sorry again for upsetting you. One just you. Is that a what or a who? You don't need to hear me problems. What if I want to hear them? Okay. You've got this. Evening. Sorry for the wait. Hello, Liam. Hello, Miss. Come in. Take a seat. Thank you again for seeing us at such short notice. Well, truth be told, your tone didn't leave much room for refusal. Yeah, well, I apologise for that, but this is very serious. As you indicated. Now, how may I help? We've, uh, we've got the proof you wanted. Oh. Liam, come on. Show Mrs Cross, show your phone. Go on, mate, it's fine. She's on your side. Come on. Liam? There's nothing to see. All right, fine, I'll show her then. But I said there's nothing to see. Just pass me your phone, please. <sighs> the messages have gone. Some of the comments were shocking. Honestly, they were degrading and vicious. <gasps> Liam, is this true? It would just bounce. Mate, why are you lying? Liam, sit down. I don't understand what's just happened. We saw those comments. I believe you. But unless I'm able to see them, there's nothing more the school can do. Are you sure you don't want to watch the footy? No, I've told you tonight it's about us. In fact, how's about this for a plan? How about we uh, finish the drinks, go on for an early night? Well, you know what I mean? Wink, wink, eh? Steve, you don't actually have to wink if you say wink, wink. Evening. Uh, we were just leaving. What? That is rude, Steve. I invited Mary to join us. <clears throat> Same again? Yes, please. Oh, I, I ran into Tommy again. Yeah, I was delivering a big bunch of red roses and he asked me for one. He offered to pay, but I let him have it gratis. Mm. Single red rose. Mm. Very classy. Mm. Day late, but uh, he must have found himself a lady. <laughs> Do you know anything about this? No, not a sausage. Anyway, we don't know that. For all we know, it could be for his mum. <laughs> <laughs> you don't net 256 career girls without knowing a thing or two about scoring. 259. How'd you know that? Oh, well, Steve, you say it sometimes in your sleep. <laughs> Apparently, I've been known to hum the birdie song. <sighs> sorry to disturb you. Actually, what am I on about? I'm not sorry. What do you want now? I want his phone. Well, that's happening. Why do you want his phone? Because Liam's deleted the messages that we found, and I think he knows why. Look, I've already spoken to Dylan about this, and he says that he's got nothing to do with his online stuff. Yeah, well, he would say that, wouldn't he? You don't have any right to call him a liar. All right, that's to prove me wrong. Look, I've not texted him since he tried to beat me up. Why don't you just give Gary your phone, put this to bed once and for all? Might be for the best, love. No way. If you've got nothing to hide, then what's the problem? Look, I'd like you to leave now. And I'd like to see you make me. Gary, this isn't the way. I'm not done with you. See you out. That guy needs to wind his neck in. 
One of the most romantic songs has got to be Nothing Compares to You. She not think it's a bit sad? Yeah, that's what's so great about it. Well, for me, it's One Week by Bare Naked Ladies. Mm. That song makes no sense at all. Just like love, baby. Just like love. I know some people think every breath you take's romantic. Mm, that's so creepy. Well, I had a client once got married to, um, I think I want to marry you by uh, Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. Yeah. And I was like, have you listened to the lyrics? <laughs> lyrics? Yeah, we're just talking favourite love songs. All right. So what's your favourite, then? I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. Oh, well, I might just have to remedy that. <laughs> ah, you're here. What's the emergency? Emergency? Yeah, Mum said to get here pronto. I've not missed it, have I? Miss what? This. I know that we've been through some really tough times, but I just think that's what makes us stronger. So, as it's a leap year, I just wanted to ask, will you marry me? Earth to Nick. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, thank goodness for that. Don't talk about leaving me hanging. <laughs> I don't know the backstory, but I think your ex's off is not for messing you around. And if you ever need anyone to sort him out. Oh, you're the man, I suppose. Too right. You really fancy yourself, don't you? Not really, but some people are worth stepping up for. You hardly know me. I know enough to think that you're special. I've upset you again, haven't I? I'm not special, Bobby. Not even close. I've done some really bad things. Don't make mistakes. No, listen. In my past, for a long time, I wasn't a good person past being the operative word. I know I don't know you properly, but I'm pretty certain that you've turned your life around. I'm trying. It's all you can ever do. It's all any of us can ever do. I really like you. Can I get in that vibe? Um, I better get back. I don't want my teeth for one to get cold. See you later. Later. Thanks for the beautiful flowers. Right, I'm off out. No, you are. Tell Dad I won't be long, yeah? Mm. Oh, Dylan. Dylan, wait! Dylan! Hey! Oh! Is that Dylan's phone? Yeah. Yeah, you left it behind. Okay. Don't suppose you know the password, do you? Why? You're not thinking of going through his phone, are you? Well, like Gary said, if he's got nothing to hide. Are you serious? Give me that now. My Dylan is not a liar, and he's not a bully, and he's certainly not a homophobe. Well, someone is, Sean. Because I don't think Gary's lying about what he saw. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about Liam. I truly am, but Dylan has got nothing to do with it. You know that for a fact, do you? You can't violate someone's privacy on the basis of a hunch. Yeah, but Liam's obviously going through hell. Yeah, maybe you're too close to it, love. And maybe, Eileen, maybe I'm just not as blind and naive as some. Sorry, I forgot my phone. Cheers, Dad. I'll see you later. Well, Nick definitely knows how much I love him now. What? I took your advice. Yeah, I didn't expect you to propose to him. Well, what does it say? Go big or go home. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> so, are you happy for us then? Yeah. Of course I am. Over the moon. So, what are you thinking, wedding-wise? Small, big, Kardashian? Uh, cheap, low-key and ASAP, if I get my way. <laughs> oh, well, how could he say no to that? Yeah, maybe I'll go and uh, work on my sales pitch. <laughs> what do you want 
Mm. No. I mean, might not be anything, but cool. I just noticed you're not exactly overcome with joy. I'm tired, that's all. As long as that's the only reason. Yeah. What do you want from me? I don't know. The truth, maybe. OK, the truth is I nearly said no. There, happy now? Why? Things can't be that bad, can they? She knew about Simon's drinking. She lied and Sam nearly died. Oh, come on. I mean, she just probably just trying to protect Sai. That's not an excuse. Well, look, we all mess up, don't we? But at the end of the day, she loves you, you love her. I mean, that's all that matters, isn't it? Thank you. Good afternoon. Most people have for me to have a look at. With my grandfather's loft, we found these musical manuscripts by Dunn. OK, well, let me look first at the... You can have a go if you want. I know you're angry. I'm not angry. I promise. I think we're just a bit confused, mate. And I've said I'm sorry. Can we just forget it? No, Liam, we can't. It's gone too far for that. I just... I don't know where we go from here. That's my fault. I never said that, love. Right, the only people at fault here are Dylan and Mason. I mean, I'll get what's coming. I swear to you. I feel like I failed him. No, you could never do that. Come here. Come in. I made you a hot chocolate. Extra marshmallows. <sighs> Liam, remember, this isn't forever. Hey, I promise you. <laughs> It's going to be okay, I promise you. If you have been affected by issues raised in tonight's programme, you can visit itv.com slash advice for support information. Next year, it's After the Flood. <laughs>